Wow. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Taking the critics' words and shoving them right back down their throats with that with that penalty, which broke the deadlock in Portugal's game against Ghana. It made him the first male player ever to score at five different World Cups. Incredible. Carl, I say male player because... Marta and Christine Sinclair have scored in five World Cups uh, in the women's game. Incredible. The other remarkable stat about this was that it meant that he is now both the youngest player to ever score for Portugal and the oldest. Wow. It wasn't it, a penalty. All right. I'm sorry. On. Well, I, let's I, To make it very clear mm. how I'm talking to you right now, I am wearing the Ghana, Ghana home shirt. kit. Yeah. Uh, and I stood up and I had my hand over my heart as Ghana did the national anthem. So I'm, I'm giving you a very partisan view of this well, game. I'm going to ask you to take, take, the, take that baggage away <laughs> and give us a, a purely impartial view of, of how that game unfolded because it was deadlocked at nil-nil for so long and then the penalty shout set a pretty extraordinary final part of the game in motion. You didn't feel it was a penalty. Adrian, what was your view? No, I didn't think it was All a penalty right. either. But, yeah. but to, to be fair to Portugal and Ronaldo, I think their fans would say that he had been denied a, a, a goal back in the first half because he hadn't really fouled the Ghanaian defender when he... No? I'm sorry. Again, I'm... I'm wearing a gun. Okay, shirt. all right. My... Maybe we'll come to you on this, Adrian. <laughs> so anyway, that made it 1-0, and Cristiano Ronaldo, he does a, a special celebration. He's like, I don't know if you've seen it. He does. He leaps up in the air. Very nice. But it was only minutes later that Ghana were back level again. It was. It was It was quite remarkable. Uh, Mohamed Kudus, best Ghanaian attacking player, finds a bit of space, gets a crossing, and Andre Ayu converts, 73rd minute. And what unfolds is... Essentially, what Mr. Clark has just said Cameroon did mm. uh, once they equalise. So they Ghana go chasing the game. They make two substitutions in the 77th minute. So Kudus and Andreu come off. Yeah, that's for... what, what was the thinking? I am <laughs> baffled. Uh, because Osman, Kudus was easily, easily the best e player. Easily Ghana's best attacking player. Not just in this squad, but also the best attacking player I've seen in the Ghana shirt in 10 years since young Andreu came out. Andreu comes off uh, along with uh, Kudus for... Bukhari and Jordan Ayew uh, and in the 90 seconds where Andrew Ayew is celebrating with his bench about scoring he, he turns around and sees uh, Jao Felix has scored yeah for, it, was, for it was a classic moment of uh, hubris though, yeah. um, comparable to I don't know Steve McLaren on Sky Sports News all those years ago oh, yes <laughs> but yeah, yeah and it was a, it was Jao Felix who put Portugal back in the lead and then two minutes later Ralph Leo scores uh, a substitute who came on as a substitute scores for Portugal because Ghana went chasing the game uh, with no platform in behind the shape you know, this 5-3-2 shape they had played for the much of the first half just completely dissolves and you think this is it 3-1 game over pack it all in but uh, then but then uh, another cross uh, a, a headed goal for Bukhari yeah a, a, and the Sioux celebration yeah he does the Sioux celebration uh, much mm. to the uh, chagrin of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, who was this a wind up? Was it, or is this something that he does does all the time? He, he he's never done that before. Okay, I, so think, I, would, I wouldn't call it a wind up. I would a homage, perhaps. Yes, I'll call yeah. it a homage uh, the, yeah. of the. I'll call it one of the Andros Tums and variety. Okay, where he scored for Everton at, yeah. against Manchester United, and he did the sue and went. It's a tribute to a player okay. I've idolised. Yeah. So I'll, I'll chalk it up to one of those. And then right at the end, this is extraordinary scene. This would be what the ninety sixth minute or something. It's, it's minute ninety eight of ninety nine. Mm. Okay. And Costa, the Portuguese goalkeeper, has got the ball and he's just seeing out the clock and he puts the ball down, but he's got no idea that two metres behind him is... Inaki Williams, just completely hiding in, in his blind spot, runs ahead, nabs onto the ball and then slips. So what would have been one of the... What I will say is it, the camera cuts to Cristiano Ronaldo who's got his hands... Head, you know, He's got his hands above his head screaming out or incredulously understanding I'm, I still can't verbalise what happened because I'm just absolutely baffled at someone who came so close to scoring one mm. of the greatest equalisers you'll see in a World Cup group stage it's slightly World cheated Cup. that it didn't happen and it didn't happen yeah, yeah. it was <sighs> blimey All right. he slipped inches inches hello there if you've enjoyed this video why not subscribe to this channel and if you'd like more totally football show content then just search for us on apple spotify or wherever you get your podcasts not an athletic subscriber yet then just head to theathletic.com totally to find out our latest entry offer